What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mad Viper here, and you have no idea how excited I am to get back to Simulacra. It's been too goddamn long. It's almost been a month. I am so sorry, guys. I kind of just zoinked out of the month of October, but it's November. We're back, babies, and that that's weird. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. So get your snacks. Get your drinks. Get all the boxes today. But for today's daily special, how about you go ahead and get you some breakfast. Even though by the time you see this is probably close to dinner time for some of y'all. But get you some breakfast. Get you some French toast sticks. Um, with that, get you some syrup on them bad boys. Do 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 a little bit of this with the bottle. Um, I, I love doing it that way. Don't ask why, but that's just how I do it. With that, how about you get you some scrambled eggs, add some cheese like your salt bay, add that salt, add that pepper, add some paprika. I, I can't say spices, but anyway, add some paprika, add a little bit of parsley flakes, and uh, cook that bad boy. And for your drink of the day, we're going to go on the last item for that breakfast, though, because you can't just eat French toast and eggs. But with your drink, though, how about you get you, let's see, a Viper Classic. How about you get you some orange juice? I love orange juice, man. Orange juice is delicious. And if you don't like orange juice, how about you get you some lemonade? And for your last item to go along with that breakfast, how about you get Viper's favorite breakfast meat? How about you get you some sausage? Now with that daily special out the way, I'm excited to get into this. And I hope y'all are too. So I'll see y'all when we're in. Alright guys, we are in. Now, I probably should have looked at the last episode, but I have no clue what we're doing. But we have eight of these. Um, yeah. Uh, Mer oh, we got a long message. We will get to that in a second. Um, shipment. Okay. Elizabeth, study leave. Jab. Oh, that was us yesterday tech issue okay so we're probably going to actually have to read literally all of these at some point but you know my brain doesn't like notifications like that especially with the numbers let's check out spark sex not guaranteed well then no <laughs> two hours later I'm about to check in a second if this is like real life and we can just look them up uh surfer ferris and king Yes. Okay. Welcome okay. to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Press one to request for a shopper. Yes. Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press one for robes and cloaks. Press two for dresses. Press three for innerwear. Press four. For shoes and footwear. Press 5 oh. for gowns. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please press 0. I think it's 4. If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper, please press the 4-digit extension number. I if think... You wish uh, to be <laughs> was it this? The extension you have requested does not exist okay g give me a second give me a second give me give me a second Where, where's that photo extension number of okay thank you there we go your personal shopper assigned to you is yolanda what why you say her Due name to like our that? increasing demand we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time yeah i'm sure after this call please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience Okay, Thank boys, we are making nice progress, day. guys. Have a nice day. All right, go goodbye, Yolanda. Yolanda, thanks for uh, using Ferris and Kane. My name is Yolanda, and I'll be your shopper today. How may I assist you? I'm not here for shoes. I'm not here for shoes. Perhaps you keyed the wrong extension. No worry. No, I want to talk to you about Craig. Craig, Greg, Greg Summers. Who is this? What did that a-hole put you up to? Oh, nah. Oh, nah. <laughs> that, oh, nah. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. 
Okay. What can you tell me about them? He is a first class liar and an even higher class douchebag. Look, if you're looking for dirt on Greg, I am NOT getting involved with him again. He is looking for Anna, and you know, I need your help. Why do you need me for that? I need to, you know, write him off as a suspect. I think he is fully capable of finding that perfect little bee. Hey, calm down. She has gone missing. As in missing? We need to call the police kind of missing? Oh, I see it now. If you're implying that he actually did something to Anna, I highly doubt it. He didn't even have the balls to break up with me face to face. No, that's, that's funny given the fact that he's talking about this face to face stuff all the time. He is too chicken she to be a criminal. Okay. So, so he has two girlfriends? Really? Me? Please. More like a side girl booty call. He cheated. Yeah, I figured he did. Oh, yeah. I am all in for some casual fun, but having a girlfriend all this time, that's a low blow. When she found out about me, all hell broke loose, and I ended up being the other girl. Okay, did he get violent? God, no. He is not the hitting kind. Okay, that's good to know. When it comes down to making choices, of course he went for Anna, and I get a half a voice email. Hey, Yolanda, I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, I think we should stop seeing each other. Wow. Like, immediately. It's not just that it's, you know, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, and I want to make things work with her. What did he say? Hey. Oh. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, eh? Huh? No hard feelings. All right, real quick, we gotta take a little break. For the young men in my audience, and for the men that are my age, you, for one, do not break up over text. You do not break up over phone. Breaking up is a serious thing and it needs to happen face to face. Secondly, secondly, do not cheat and you won't have to break up with your partner. It's that simple, guys. It's that simple. Self-discipline is the best discipline. All right, let's get back to it. It all makes sense now. Yeah, he just really is that bad. You have your dirt now, so are we done? At the end of the day, he still cares about her. If only he know um, if only he knows how to show it, now everyone thinks I'm a bad person. It's not your fault. How would you know? If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have immediately stopped. Stupid me. I hope that, uh, I hope this was helpful. I gotta get back to work now. Alright, have a nice life. Uh, we, uh, who was this? I miss the days where opinions were the only go as far as you can tell okay I don't I don't I don't care about you who, who. what is your deal Yolanda just called me there is a reasonable explanation <laughs> there is a reasonable explanation there is a reasonable explanation I have not crossed the line yet and you brought her into this no I I had to be sure I had to be sure bro I had to be sure. My personal affairs has nothing to do with you. Woody do I cheated on Anna. Now it's all in the open. Would you stop digging in my life and get back on track? Only because you asked so nicely. Just stop and use your head for one second. Have you ever considered that what's a face from Spark is just Dean, you around? Come on, what do you really know about him? Um, 
he did sidetrack. Well, no, I don't think he sidetracked the investigation at all. We didn't have any witnesses. He's a witness. Greg's a witness. All like we're getting information. We're we're like a private guest investigator, but he does make a lot of lewd jokes. That's practically it. He's like me. <laughs> what kind of nutcase will joke around with somebody's missing? If he lacks any kind of empathy, he well, I guess we have to say he did sidetrack the investigation, but I don't think so. So pointing the finger at me was all his idea all along, and you said I'm the one with things to hide. I won't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. A nice guy can overlook those things. Uh, he's just eccentric, bro. He, he he ain't none special. Well, I am not taking any chances on him. Look what I found. Spark-related crimes soar as increasing number of felons use dating apps to target victims. Oh. From the CBB. The National Felon... The National Sex Felon website. Okay. The National... Se Okay, the National Sex Felon website um, is a database that provides the public, the public with access to registered registered sex offenders. NSFW, that's amazing. NSFW is a private entity working together with the governments and communities to provide a safe environment for our friends and families. Concerned residents can utilize the search tool to identify information on sex offenders. Okay, so let's do it. His name is Tay Lore. And then we will we'll stop. Taylor, I, I need your name. Can I copy this? Okay. Taylor Pereira. I got it. I got it. I forgot it already. Taylor Her <laughs> I forgot it already. I think that no, I did not spell that. Yeah, I think that's it. Taylor Pereira. Six matches found, age 22. Oh, we need we need his location too? Springwood. Record found. Okay, open and gross lewdness and whatever that word is, word is behavior. Incident exposure in public. <laughs> God! Indecency. So public indecency. Okay. Alright, so so my boy really my boy really is on the sex offender registry. Okay, so this is a problem. Sounds horrible. And true. You said Anna matched with several people in Spark. Anna's notebook mentioned that she met someone. I can feel we're getting closer. Punch in all the names of her Spark and see what you can find. I found them already. I found them already on there. Find the truth. I spoke to Yolanda. The girl he cheated on with? You did it, buddy! So what is it? He's too much of a coward to hurt Anna. Seriously? That's what she said? Yes. I guess my theory about Greg making Anna disappear is too far-fetched. It, it, yeah, it is. Uh, he's an a-hole, but not a criminal. You, on the other hand, Taylor, you seem... Uh, you sure Greg didn't let anything slide? You can... Can you source even can your source even be trusted? Defamation is a crime. That's not my intention. Okay. I just think someone's hiding something. Like you? 
I got nothing to hide. You didn't find anything, did you? If you have, say, spill it. You're a registered sex offender, buddy! Shee! I knew it. You found the damn registry, didn't you? I know it looks really bad. It does, Taylor. It does. A guy on Spark being a sex offender is a bad, as bad as it gets. But hear me out, please. You have five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. I want all the juicy details! Give them all! Okay, so I was at the mall and I had like a huge glass of iced tea right before I and I got a pee real bad. The bathroom was closed, the floor, geez, the bathroom was closed on the floor I was on and the next one was really far away. And then, so I went into the stairway and peed there and then a lady and her kid came through the door. I was exposed. Next thing you know, lawyers were involved and I was charged. That that's really your only crime? You peed in a mall stairway? You can technically call me a criminal, but I would never harm any person. A another person. Come on, you can trust me. Said every guilty person ever, bro. Come on, you can trust me. I'm not. I know it sounds weird, but this is not about me now. I have to follow so many rules from the NSFW that I practically that I am practically branded. Do you know how hard it is to find a job? Well, yeah. Felons don't really get jobs when they get out. They can, but mm, you can always lie about it. No, you can't. That's that's uh, if they have your name, they know you're a felon. It's just that simple. Sounds awful, buddy. But you were you were publicly exposed bro what what do you want me to say I'ma just keep my head low if I mess up it's straight to jail for me I would never do anything remotely illegal so let's keep this between you and me eh it's a real conversation starter that's all I'll say don't play with me on this I'm serious oh 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 eccentric boys getting serious now and he doesn't want to talk to us anymore okay we got Oh, what? What? I can't believe you actually did it. What? I just told you not. I didn't. I didn't say anything. I literally just stopped talking to you. He added me on Jabber. Oh, he's definitely pissed. How the hell did he find me? Um. I might have told him about you, but I did not tell him you were a registered sex offender. I didn't tell him that. But, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's getting juicy. Busted! Taylor! Got you now, you sex maniac. What the? Who is this? How the hell did you get my number? Shut up, rebound guy. <laughs> oh, God. Greg is mad. I am, the, I am the one Anna should be with. You stay out of this. Greg? Oh, <laughs> that escalated quickly. Jesus, Greg. How the hell did you get my number? The internet is a resourceful place, especially to find pervs like you. Wow, from cheating to stalking, can someone hand hand him the best boyfriend of the year award? What do what I do in my private life is none of your business. Jesus Christ, Greg, calm down, buddy. You're the one who drove her away in the first place. How about I drive my foot up your <clears throat> All right, guys. We gotta calm down. We're, we're getting too excited. I think you guys are missing the point here. We were all on the point until she for brain showed up. Look, man, Anna wanted to move on. Why can't you just respect that? She would be better with literally anyone else but you. So Mr. I can't keep my pants up is somehow an acceptable choice for her. At least I don't have a criminal record. That's a low blow, man. Eats popcorn. <laughs> This is too good. Aren't you gonna say something? I did. I said eats popcorn. 
I'm not done with you yet. What the hell are you? What the hell did you do to Anna? If you touch her, how can I? How can I do anything if I haven't even met her yet? She mentioned uh, that she's meeting someone from Spark on her notebook. Have you ever considered that there is literally millions of other lonely men out there? He has. He does have a point. Uh, that's literally what. Um, what's it called? Tinder is. Jesus, t what Tinder is. Of course I did. And I'm starting with you. <laughs> that is not working smart. <laughs> I just want her back. Alright, angry boy. I Alright, angry boy. There is a smarter way to do this. We are wasting time here. Now that I made it so clear, don't we all want the same thing? Same thing different reasons. Oh my god, Greg. Finally, we are agreeing on something. No, I am NOT agreeing with you. You are the one that accused me and threw everything off. Hey, it's not my fault that she left you. <laughs> Emotional damage! Taylor is... Bro. Okay. We are all partly to be blamed. No, I'm, I'm really just a spectator who's going along with this investigation. Uh, calm down, Greg. I will not be calm in the picture. With him in the picture. If you're going to be like this, fine. I can prove I didn't meet Anna. Fantastic! Show me the my spark messages. It's all there. It will prove that Anna and I never planned to meet. He is telling the truth. Because I looked through them all. They never... No. <laughs> he is telling the truth. No. I want to see it with my own eyes. Can you be more insecure? Her phone. She cleared some data not long ago and she backed it up to her phone computer and the one at work. If I can access it, um, if I can, if I can access it, we'll yeah, I will have all the proof. Whoa, I think you're on to something. If we do that, we might be able to know who she met on Spark. Damn, that's true. Finally, focus on what matters. That's cute. <laughs> Don't you have anything useful to say? No, not really. Maybe we can somehow call her office, ask around for help, get someone to get in on her computer or something. What kind of she ideal is that? Um, I say I will walk right in and get it done myself. It's gonna be easy. That's probably... Let's call her office, bro. Let's call her office. Greg, you're thinking abrasively. Maybe she has friends that we can trick into getting to... Oh my god, that's just like, it It sounds like somebody's banging. I have a window right there. Uh, when y'all see this, it's going to look like I'm pointing to um, the right, but I'm not. I'm pointing to the left. You know, I'm in mirror, I'm in the mirror universe, so, you know, we just gotta do it like that. But, um, it sounds like somebody's banging on my window, and that gives me the chills. It says, we've wasted enough time. I am not playing charades to get something that important. Are you doubting me? Investigators do this all the time. I'm just proposing alternatives. Um, both of you have good points. But one of them, I'm done listening to you. I'm just going to walk in and get the job done, plain and simple. That's too reckless. Yeah, that's right. It's too reckless. There's... Let's find a more indirect way in. Just call one of her work friends. I know her better. She has no work friends. Wow. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How... No wonder she was driven away by you. And what makes you think you can use her computer so easily? Taylor's got the best idea, Greg. It's okay. Two to one favor, and that's how democracy works. I feel like we are becoming in sync. Or probably NCIS or something. Fine. Be that way. 
I am not playing games with you jokers anymore. Do as you please. I'm not going anyways, but we're making so much progress. I'm not working with you, rebound guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why is he calling him that? I am going to find Anna by myself. Go get a backup from her workplace your way. I'll do mine. I swear, if she did end up meeting you, you won't hear the end of it. Okay, dot, dot, dot. So what just happened? Oh, he left? Ow! Oh! Oh! Look, sorry for the outburst. It's not meant for you. I just want to make uh -huh. things right. And I gotta do it on my own. No, you if don't. If we met under other circumstances, maybe we would have got along. No. I doubt it, but there is a possibility. There isn't there, one. I said it. You didn't have to say anything. Oh boy, guys, this is getting too good. That was exciting. You are really enjoying this a bit too much. A lead is a lead. We need to know who Anna clo close with at work. Did you manage to check her emails? Uh, her boss is kind of an a-hole. Isn't pretty much every boss. Not the boss. We won't have much leverage. Uh, sure, she... Anyone else? Well, let's check. Well, let's get this vlog in real quick. Let's see. Love is being there. Mm-hmm. Love is being honest. Mm-hmm. Love is being belonging. Mm-hmm. Love is Mm-hmm. Love is... Oh. Guys, love is companionship with a partner of your choosing. It's that simple. All right, moving on. Let's check her mail. Um, Elizabeth, is she friends with Elizabeth? I got your application, but the boss is sitting in the front now. It's regarding the thing you brought. Text me when you find the office. I will explain. Uh, oh, Elizabeth is HR. No. Merv. Okay. Okay. Okay, this, this is a big body of text. I'm going to do this first try, though. The perfect dress for you. <clears throat> That's a weird thing to ask, Merv. Okay, here we go. Hey, Anna. Looks like you're my receiver for the next week's company gift swap. I know the gifts aren't meant to be secret, but I don't like giving gifts that you ultimately don't want. So I'm breaking tradition and I will get you something that you truly deserve. You somehow managed to look so hot. It, my, my girlfriend's gonna kill me. <laughs> so hot in office wear. So why not get you a smashing office dress? Tell me your body size and I will pick the perfect dress for you. See, Merv, you're starting off a little too strong. All right, I could give you pointers, but I probably shouldn't. Make sure you give your, make sure to give your bust, waist, hip measure and hip measurements. I want to get it right for the first time. All right, guys, so it cut off because I ran out of memory again, but I switched to my other card and pretty much Merv is harassing her, talking about how good her thick legs would look, talking about how she needs to show off her assets, pretty much her sexually harassing her at the workplace. So that's pretty much it, but we're going to cut this episode off here because it is getting a little long and you know I still gotta edit this thing. So if you like this video, how about you hit that like button for me? If you loved it, how about you slither over to that subscribe button for your boy? Discord, be quiet, I'm doing it. the outro. And how about you hit that bad boy for more content coming your way. Now it's been your boy Mad Viper. Anna's looking at me and it's very, very awful to look at. So I'm about to close out of this game. So it's been your boy Mad Viper. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. 
And I will see y'all in the next video. Good life, bro.